What's some? So who were the creators of the Wu and the Flawless? Uh, I gotta say RP, my son, 3D, RP, Nati, people like that. That's the, that's the founders of this Wu shit. Okay. Wu shit really came from the seven gang niggas in our basement. Oh shit, that's... I mean, that's, that's, another, that's another group of niggas that made this shit go viral. This Wu shit I put on for the Wu shit. Yeah, you took 90, another group of niggas. Nah, that's Real a fact. Right. I mean, switch game. That's a fact. I feel kind of like, um... What's his name? Jeezy Moolah in a sense he, he brought put a it. big impact onto this Wu shit. And then that's Pop a, Smoke just went out of there. They took it off. They that's, took off with it. Nah, that's that as a fact. So when you think of the floss and like um the veil and shit, the funny thing is y'all linked up now and shit, but it wasn't always cool. Nah, what it was, was always good. What was first of all, let's get into the reasons why y'all weren't cool. They felt like they they, they started this Wu shit. Mm. They felt like they, they was the owners of this Wu shit or the founders or the ones who make the shit. Yeah, true. Not correct. And then, as far as like the what made you guys become cool? How did the link up come about? The youth, this music shit. Yeah, most definitely. Music shit definitely brought niggas together. Music, shit, money, shit like that. Nah, that's a fact. So, what was the first um couple flossy veil link ups or whatever the case may be? Okay. Who be Molly G? Would you say like they would be the they were the ones that create the link between the veil and the floss? Yeah. Could it be Molly G, Molly G, JD, JD, KD, baby? That shit made it, made shit good. Nah. With OP linked up with a couple people probably in the in the, uh, in the Ville. Okay, okay. Yeah. Certain niggas reached out. Certain niggas reached out to Ville artists that was on their own shit too. So. Okay, and then as far as like the floss and shit, you can't mention the floss about pop smoke. Mm -hmm. So as far as that, what was your relationship? Did you guys ever have a relationship? Yeah, music, music relationship. Okay. Streetwise, I seen him in the streets. Uh, I talked to him. We smoked. We family hang out. We chopped it up about music shit. But we wasn't really like our closest friends. You feel me? But I know me. I had close friends that was close to him. You feel me? That yeah, was yeah. his close friend. You feel me? Shit like that. Like Dread, Dread Wu. That's, yeah. that's one of my close friends. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And that's pop right hand man. Okay. That's definitely cool. So as far as like we could basically end the interview with this or some shit like what would be if you would give your top five Wu rappers, if you had to give a top five. Top five, my top five Wu rappers right now. In all time, even. I mean, RP Pop, Pop is going yeah, to be number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Pop has to be number one. Hell yeah. I mean, I'll say Pop, Curly Side, Raw Swish. I put definitely Raw, Raw, I'll say Raw Time. Floss, I, I, I throw my son Danny Hundreds in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. And definitely. Then one more, let me see. Floss, Top 5, Pop, Curly, Ross, Swish, Danny Hundreds. Floss. I have to say Splash Floss. Yeah, yeah, I don't, know, I don't really know nobody else that's putting on heavy in the Floss like that. Nah, that's definitely fact. Yeah, for you, just came out with a little calm one track. You feel me? Just doing numbers right now. So shout out to him. Putting on for the whole And as far as we mentioned Pop Smoke, what was the impact or like how did it impact you and the Floss when he passed? Big A bag. I was on that shit. I was just, you feel me? I was just, just like, you feel me? Trying to get shit going so I could reach out, so I could get my track with my son, you feel me? Shit like that. And I just woke up, seen social media, seen that shit. Right after that shit, I seen that shit. My Instagram just did some weird shit. Somebody reported my shit, my whole Instagram just got taken down. Yeah. I had like 14.8K. And after that, it was just, it was just, man, it was crazy after that. Like, I was getting out. Nah, so, that's a fact. And as far as just Everybody letting it... felt that shit. Every artist that came out of Brooklyn felt that shit, even the Ops. Nah, that's a fact. Oh, elaborate on that, because like a lot of people definitely wouldn't feel, they kind of feel like, they kind of feel like just because the nigga from the other side has fucked them or whatever, but I even feel, and like the whole Brooklyn feel, it's just like that's a big loss at the end of the day. A lot of, a lot of niggas that, you feel me, beef with us and shit like that, that them didn't fuck with us and we didn't fuck with them, they posted on this L.I.P. for me. Yeah. Yeah, they come and shit like that, so shout out to them that did that. And shout out to the homies that, you feel me, still putting on and you feel me, pushing out some pop name and shit like that. Nah, that's a fact. And another question in the sense of what you being as part of the Switch game and shit, and that being like one of y'all being the pioneers of Brooklyn and shit, y'all been in it damn near since the beginning of this drill wave popped off and shit, what would you say be, would be like one difference between now versus back then? Now? 
niggas is actually taking heed to what's going on in the streets and niggas is taking heed to what's going on in the industry. That niggas is actually watching us and we got eyes on us and niggas is putting on and niggas is staying consistent with the music. Nah, that's a fact. The niggas is most definitely getting those deals. Yeah, definitely niggas nah, is getting deals. That's, that's a fact. Right. So Shout plug to my son Ra, he just got a deal. Oh, what's he? That's what's up. Boy Empire right now, so. That's what's up. Shit moving over there. And before we get out of here, get plug us in with your music, all the new music and shit we could expect from you. You can go look me up on all platforms, Furly Woo, streaming on all platforms, music videos, all out. I got a new music video out right now called You Know The Vibes. And I got a new, another music video out that I just dropped like two months after that called Hold On Me. It's on my own music channel on YouTube, Foy, Foy channel. You can okay. search that. It's called Furly Woo, Hold On Me. Anything you gotta say to the people before we check out? Uh, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything. Just look up Furly Woo, the real Furly Woo on Instagram, Furly Woo Switch Game. Alright, y'all, y'all just watch the Gifted Music interview and we out.